Good morning. If you are just joining us, this is Why in the Morning only on channel Y254. Now we have a very special question that may or may not trigger you <laughs> on social media platforms, but I suggest you just go over there and, and just answer as honestly as possible. I tried to find on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. My name is Valentine or at Kalamival, but ukitaka tu kunita tu smart, nani jueni unani, ni mimi unaita, just say Val, okay? And I'll know what to do. Now, we are on the health segment of today's show. And we started with a very heated conversation with Brian Sako 101 on mental health. It may or may not trickle down here, but of importance, we'll start with the actual aspect of health aside from mental health or mental wellness but before that let me allow my guests to introduce themselves good morning yes. you caught our conversation with Brian Sagwa yeah true, true yeah. I will we'll get into that later but please introduce yourself maybe I'll start with you Sandra okay so my good name is Sandra Maluka the CEO of Yawa Nuan also the vice chair of mental health the vibe mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All right. You can catch me on Instagram at Kasim Baluka, Facebook as well, LinkedIn as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you are, sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Jean Omondi Amina. Mm -hmm. Most people refer to me as Amina, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm the, one of the founders of Yawa No One and uh, a UI UX designer by profession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Tell me about your profession first before we get to. Oh, how okay. You found Interesting. Okay, um, it's a new profession, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it hasn't been there. For the past, uh, let's say the last 10 decades, it's when it has wow. grown. Mm. Uh, UI UX design, we, we come up with the experiences that uh -huh. uh, people have when using mobile apps or web apps. So if you see on Instagram, when you click on that like button and then it pops up, mm -hmm. actually a UI UX designer did something there to, to play with how you feel when, wow. you, when you are using these apps. We get to decide what fonts, what colors we use on the app, mm -hmm. and also the language mm -hmm. that we use so that it's appropriate to what is being displayed. So mm -hmm. basically, that's UI UX in a nutshell. So you're responsible for that Facebook when you can that noise. Yeah, exactly. It it kind of produces some. Uh, chemicals that it make does, you feel good. It really yeah. does. It really does. Are you also yeah. responsible for the, the the emojis that now instead of just liking, you can give care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We 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 strive to give people better experiences mm -hmm. while using the app, so that they can actually express themselves. You feel good about yourself when using an app, and actually most of it is to direct you to achieve what you want to achieve on the platform. Well, I want to involve Sandra in the next question, but it's mm -hmm. still directed to you, Amina. Okay. Have you ever noticed Ushayongelea uh, took it too randomly? You haven't searched it on your phone. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Ata maybe at Simato Ikuko. But the next time you open an app, it's giving you suggestions for that particular thought that you have. Yeah. What's yeah. that? That's creepy. Oh, I, okay, it's not really creepy. It depends with how you view it, actually. Mm -hmm. Because. Uh, just as I said, we strive to give people better experiences. Let's say you're looking for address mm -hmm. on Jumia, mm -hmm. right? Google will actually store your data that you try to look for address on Jumia. Mm -hmm. And fix Facebook too. We have something called Facebook Pixel, mm -hmm. which can store your data when you visit a certain site mm -hmm. that's connected to Facebook. Then this data will be used by Google to display the adverts that come to you. Wow. So basically that's what happens. It makes it easier for you to be able to identify, get the best deals out there. So it, it depends with how you view it. If we restrict ourselves too much, probably we, it won't be, it, 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 it ain't helpful at the end of it all. So it's a feature that kind of wow. helps us get whatever we want. That's impressive. A little yeah. bit into my privacy but <laughs> very impressive <laughs> yeah but, but funny enough you you consent to it you consent to it when installing these apps or google only that probably the script is too long the script i agree is, yeah so you you don't go through <gasps> it far, so anyway but you need the app at the end of it all that's that's a conversation <laughs> for another day Sandra, yeah. please tell me about um what you founded and, and what it's all about uh, a few no ones it's a health checkup campaign, mm -hmm. and we want to have this routine uh, among us, the youth, that they go for checkups regularly. Unajokuliza youth, 
eh, kuhusu check up when the last time we shake kuwa na check up mm. takwambia oh check up ni ya mababi oh mbona niende hosi mm. nenda nitafute kitu wenye sijui mm. nenda nipate niko nayo mm. ah ah wacha tu ikae so we are trying to make it a routine among us the youth like to end any check ups we think we have a lot of years Mm-hmm. ya kuisha ti ah sasa jumii niko 25 si niko na another 15 nitajiangalia nikikuwa mm-hmm. 40 50 na huko but no kujiangalia ni sahi mm-hmm. yes, but yes. i look healthy why am i going to the hospital siko hoi sasa niko na homa these are these are just questions i'm asking i am assuming you get a lot I, like i look healthy ni nina nipeleka hospitali kama kwani na kwambia niko na pesa kama hizo kwenda hospitali kila saa Mm. I yeah, check you that's another reason why we get unapata msema anakwambia hey, I think check up is expensive it's not even expensive for instance our platform mm. it's only 170 bob to get you body weight high imagine ni cheaper than unga and people think it's so expensive like you have to do uh, how many how much money it's not expensive it's 170 na sisi tunapima weight height that is the bmi and then blood sugar and blood pressure mm-hmm. and you see things like blood pressure haziumi so you won't know utasikia tu kichwa ni normal asubuhi you're like acha nikunywe maji tapoa sana sana ama you're like na say hiyo ni pressure and you don't know oh, yeah. you see yeah okay it's it's very confusing for me i mean to hear such things being thrown about at the blood pressure sijui sugar sijui Youth, hizo si mashida za Pata ni sisemwe. You may hold me accountable later but muko shwa hizo si tazama. Yeah actually um uh, you are thinking mm-hmm. is in line with most youth thinking mm-hmm. that uh, these are things that actually affect the old. But when you look at the statistics 30% of the youths are actually affected by these chronic diseases. 30. Yeah, that is when you combine hypertension, uh, stroke, diabetes, and this number keeps on growing by 5% plus wow. every year. To mean uh, by the time we get to the next 5 years within the next 5 years it's anticipated that if nothing is done it will hit 50%. That is when you make up at least all the way to kwa studio wow three of us probably work on one chronic disease and uh, i don't think we do, we want to get there yeah, i don't think if we want to get there because those statistics are scary especially in africa mm-hmm. it's because of negligence ignorance has, has no defense we'll we'll get old mm-hmm. yeah so we, we just need to start taking care of ourselves uh, while we are still young because mm-hmm. We have big dreams. Mm-hmm. You have dreams, I have dreams, Sandy has dreams. Mm-hmm. And uh, for us to be able to achieve this, you need to take care of your body to even eat the fruits mm-hmm. of your labor. Yeah. Okay. And and this is just me again throwing possibly mm-hmm. something that you've also had before. Tuseme mimi nakulanga mboga ya kienyeji na kuna mtu anakulanga kukusama. Surely mimi nakaa kuwa na mashida chronic kweli. Siye ajiangalie. Yeye manya kulanga chipo kila siku mimi na glow girl. Mm-hmm. No, it's not only ignorance ama lifestyle mm-hmm. kuna ingine ni hereditary inaweza kuwa ni genes ya family yenu mm-hmm. maybe your mama ama your guka ama your shosha alikuwa na blood pressure so imekupata ama diabetes and you don't know mm-hmm. na utajua jika moja na check up mm-hmm. so maybe your time sasa umeanza kukua old ndio sasa imeanza kujionyesha mm-hmm. and then your legs sasa ni kom old so ndio maana hizi magonjwa zinanitafuta mm-hmm. but no kuna watu old na wako very healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These things could be underlying. Yeah. Na instead of kuzifix sai naenda we and I'm just to add on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said you you eat healthy, mm-hmm. right? But probably you're visiting social media mm-hmm. and you have stress. Mm-hmm. You are stressed, you have pressure. And those are the kind of things that uh, when your high blood pressure is up, you can get hypertensive. Mm-hmm. and when you are hypertensive probably you can get stroke so it's not only about eating you have to look at your health in all aspects in mm-hmm. at all angles yeah okay now this this is very i, I don't want to say amusing but it's very interesting to me that mental health can now actually connect to your actual health so there i was minding my own business to say me for all <coughs> i know I, i eat right i, I exercise so once in a while and then boom nimeenda instagram niko na venye ambari anatesa eh amasjuni muona nani akifanya nini i'm like oh my god 
Nianze kujiuliza sasa what am I doing with my life? That is a problem. Uh, <coughs> okay, it can be a problem. It depends with you. Mm -hmm. uh, cuz um people have we we experience different things according to mood, mm -hmm. according to situations that we are in in life. I might I might have a job but my relationship is not working. Mm -hmm. Let's say some other person might have all the money and they, they, they can't be happy or they can't achieve their dreams. So stress comes at different levels mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's involuntary, let mm -hmm. me say that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't really control when you get stressed. That's why I usually tell people, when someone says that uh, being um, depressed in Ujinga, mm. It is not because it's involuntary, just as I've said. When you are in it, you, you won't even know that you are in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that is something that we need to create more awareness about. Mm -hmm. So it's social media and uh, these things, they affect us in ways that we don't know. And me as a UI UX designer, as we develop apps sometimes, we can introduce features that make users want to stay more on the platforms. So you uh, actually know what you're doing? No, no, actually, it's not with bad intentions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, you, wa you want people to stay more on the platform. It can be a business decision mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. but then it can affect people negatively. Mm -hmm. Not everyone uh, has that self-control. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why Google is introducing Google well-being where you get to monitor screen time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can set which apps you can use, so which, uh, which times. They're also trying to introduce YouTube for kids so that they're not traumatized while they're still young. So these are some of the steps that uh, tech, uh, uh, tech companies are taking so that we can be able to come to the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, we're still on mental health, Sandra. <coughs> We were talking extensively with Brian Sakwa a few minutes ago, and we're talking about the different kind of pressures that life has. First of all, to Mimi when I was growing up, Stemaliza could grow, but as I was still growing up, they used to ask me, Sasa wewe, unashikuwa jina stress? Like, nini nina kusumbwa, una watoto, una sijui nini? At the time, I wasn't paying rent, ulipi rent, nini nina kusumbwa? So already there's a stigma for when you're a certain age, you're not supposed to be even saying you, you have stress of any kind. Ewe, kazi yako ilikuwa tu kusoma, bus. How do we take that stigma away? Because clearly people are going through stress, even at a certain age. So how do we deal with that? Knowing your friends. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing, self-esteem. When it comes to mental health, things to do with your, your own being, you being. You know, we are human beings, we, we are progressive, mm -hmm. yeah, we are being. So, self-esteem first. Mm -hmm. Know yourself first. The moment you know yourself, these other things won't pressure you. Mm -hmm. Yes. For instance, uh. now, like, I am in my 20s, I'm a CEO. Mm -hmm. Someone else will out there in... The same, I got two twenties beer, mm. but I got this life, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the city wapi, I may travel wapi. Na kuna mungine pia, hana chochote, and after job, I got two. But kama how you understand, it is not yet my time. Uta gongo nezo pressure, uta nda kufikiria. Kwani mimi, I am not even worth, mm -hmm. and all these things. Mm -hmm. So, like, unapata, ata, I used to get that a lot, kama webe, like, unambua, kulipi rent. Mono unakwana stress and all these things. It's because they don't understand. Kuna hako ka pressure pia. Mm -hmm. Pia pressure. Hako ka pressure kana kuanga in every age, ama in every ka, ka group uko, in ama season enye uko, mm -hmm. ama iyo age enye uko. Kuna kuanga na ka pressure. For instance, kama ukiwa shule, kuna yo pressure ya. Kwanza high school. Mm -hmm. Kuna kuanga na yo pressure ya dating, nini, nini, nini. Unge campus, kuna yo pressure ya kupiga luku, sijui nani ya nauwana, nini. Mm -hmm. As in, Kila mahali kuna yo pressure. So it's yote unaondoa by knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm really glad you touched on that. Yesterday I had a guest. Um, his name is Joffrey. He's a motivational speaker of sorts. So I got high school, high school. So I had a little story when he be going to, especially girls, high schools, because he has teenage girls himself, so he knows what to tell these girls. I'm like, what do you guys talk about? I'm like, dating, oh, siju yi mtu anasema, siju yi ameocho kwa mata. First, nika kaa, nika okay, what? 
I don't remember having these problems, but okay. At what exactly do you say? I'm like, no, just have jijue, have self-esteem. Learn to love yourself, Jiju. Okay. Having a boyfriend is okay. I'm like, you say what? Having a boyfriend is okay? Where that version of mother is, is not available in your country. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for who? Can you read? Okay. 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 Oh my God. So clearly our generations are so different, so different. How, how can we find a way to, you know, speak life into them, but also understand that, yes, we went to the same things, but they dealt with us a bit different. Mm, how, how do we bridge that? Okay. Um, we are in um, an era where we have access to almost all information. Mm -hmm. Uh, you go to the internet, you can get answers to all the questions that you've ever had. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that you can get, uh, our parents never had that. I don't think in their era they didn't have the internet mm. to look for things. At a mobile phone. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, they never experienced the Western uh, culture the way we're experiencing it, because we see it every day. Mm -hmm. You hop into YouTube, you see a YouTuber doing a uh, YouTube video with their wives or their children. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then somehow you, you, you get to understand that this is how life should be lived, like this is how you should live your life. And uh, that brings in a lot of pressure. So it's actually up to us to to actually talk to our parents mm -hmm. yeah, and the elderly people so that we can bridge the gap, both of us. Mm -hmm. Though I, I, I understand that some of them can be difficult mm -hmm. because they're so much rooted into what they believe in. Mm. The statistics has it that at the, within this generation that we are in, uh, the, the rate at which people get divorced is so high. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the culture is eroding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kitambo when your parents had problems, they would fix it. Probably they would go and visit them. Their parents would meet and it's talk. True. And nowadays we have, can we stay? Mm. So if you have, can we, can we stay? I don't think if, how will your parents even recognize your marriage mm. to even start negotiating? So you just decide, you know what? My life, my choice. Uh, so you decide to do things when you're an attacker. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is women empowerment. Uh, it has come strong. And uh, we, we shall revisit that Sunday, yeah, but exactly. continue. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we uh, men are really struggling. Out see again, here. Yeah. See again. <laughs> 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 we are really struggling to cope. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing for a girl to, to be able to support themselves, mm -hmm. but then we also need to have an understanding that uh, that relationship is also important, understanding each other. So if we can be able to sit down and uh, get an understanding that, you know what, this man that we have, we can actually support each other. I think that can also bring another understanding and that can bring in that element of culture also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have an understanding, you'll adhere to culture. And if you adhere to culture, probably you'll be able to solve most of the issues that we are experiencing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where we have uh, a gap between mm -hmm. us and our parents, the culture mm -hmm. that is eroding. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandra, to revisit your story and empowerment <laughs> because I have, I have questions, I have follow-up questions. Yeah. I, I feel like a long time ago, female empowerment or girl child empowerment was, was very fitted for the people in very remote areas who did not have sanitary towels. When you time kifika when it's time to have your menses, unaka shimo, like it was very cave-like. Cave caveman like so i feel like it started there so i don't know how it ended up affecting the boy child to the fact that now they're intimidated by us i really don't understand that out of five gentlemen only possibly two of them will not be afraid of you the rest i'm like eh we are going to mingi i'm a oh we we are not sana we are talking english strategy i don't know what happened in between i, I think it came very innocently, you know, we're just trying to enable someone to go to school even when they're having the menses. We're trying to stop female genital mutilation. We're trying to stop, you know, early marriages, early forced marriages. That's what, what it was then. How has it become now an issue? Like, eh? Nini, nini? 
Sana ile coach na semanga. Oh, a man can do, a woman can do best. So I think up on the walk, and then now, sisi wenyewe having that, having kum, kukwa ile zile za, unajua nini? Eh, yes we can. Mbona, wow, tunu anafanya. That is why we have conductors, watu wengine ni wa mama. What we do, the women and our mama, as in the letter, the little congan is a boy child, and a person is easy to say, Gia, up and dying. Like, come a leadership, for instance. Like, a leader to go to a zoni, one omi, one omi. Now we have ladies, I am a leader right now where I am. So, no, and I am a lady, and I have people working under me, men even older than me. Wow. You see, so, Unapata, I think you will go, I am. Sissy, when you're when you're to me, I'm going to judge land. We are doing it now. Mm -hmm. That is what may be in our fanya. Confirm. It's rooted in our DNA as men. Mm -hmm. To we are born leaders, mm -hmm. actually. And when you see someone uh, the other gender like thriving, mm -hmm. you tend to to be. It's not normal to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a new space to you. So we people adapt differently, mm -hmm. and. Uh, some some men can uh, it find it intimidating actually because mm -hmm. um, let's say for example you grew up uh, you saw your dad doing everything buying food your mom was always there cleaning cooking and making sure that yeah, you guys go to church mm -hmm. and then you grow up and things are different mm -hmm. you find that now your wife is even earning more than you mm -hmm. and uh, She's not in the house every time. Mm, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, you are so used to, you, for you, in your mind, you used to think that, okay, my wife will be coming home, cooking for me. Mm -hmm. When I come home, I find we have food. Mm -hmm. But here, yeah, you, you come home, then your wife here, me kujia na chakula KFC or oh, something. Oui. <laughs> uh -huh. Because they were busy. Um, it has its positives, uh, girl empowerment, but it also has its negatives because mm -hmm. uh, uh, at times uh, ladies can get ahead of themselves uh, not all mm -hmm. but i believe when some of them get ahead of themselves mm -hmm. it tends to bring in some friction mm -hmm. yeah but then if we can have an understanding i think we can solve everything uh, I'm not saying that girls are bad or women who are empowered are bad because mm -hmm. we also have men who, uh, who <laughs> 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 we also have men who are like rigid mm -hmm. yeah we have we have new terms uh, where we refer to uh, people as modern woman modern man mm -hmm. and uh, the true definition of a modern woman is uh, to understand that uh, relationship is also important mm -hmm. and not just the whatever we earn or whatever positions we have, they're, they're just to help us uh, achieve what we want to achieve in a relationship. At the end of it all, your relationship is what matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, do, you don't want to grow old, you don't have children mm -hmm. or to play around with, or mm -hmm. you don't want to get to that point where I mm -hmm. uh, would take a kitu. You would take a kitu, you would take that can be one of your legacies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might give birth to a president or someone special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in regard to gender, who do you think is more likely to go for health checkups? Is it the females or the males? And possibly why? Um, that's a good Sandra thing. Sandra <laughs> 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 I think uh, the women. Why? Uh, women are uh, their kind of... They're the, the ones who get to it, like they put the, they hold the family together. Yeah, yeah you get they hold. If you look at a family where people go to church, mm -hmm. it's usually the mothers. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they take care of the children, so they, they kind of care more about health. Mm -hmm. They also experience their uh, cycles. So that, that's also a big factor. Mm -hmm. You know, for us men, ah. We don't experience most of these yeah, things. So, yeah, two or two. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, kuoga. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, it's more enrooted in women. So they, they are most likely, uh, they are the more likely to go to have their checkups mm. than than men. But that is something that we want to bring to their attention because uh, health checkup is important mm -hmm. and. Um, 
you don't want to grow old na ukose ku achieve dreams zako or umepata pesa wote na you can't enjoy it now you're spending it all on bills yeah on bills on yeah and it you would have spent let's say for example the platform that we have mm -hmm. Checkups. Uh, we've made it basic because we want it to be affordable and accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. When I mean accessible, uh, we have agents. You can walk into any chemist or pharmacy. We have BMI, mm -hmm. uh, blood pressure, blood glucose, and that those are some of the basic checkups that you can do. Mm -hmm. And it will actually tell you if there are other underlying issues. Then. Uh, we have also the thing we called reminders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, 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 when you sign up to our platform, you can get reminders because you know, sana. And that's one, one thing we are trying to advocate for. Uh, we remind you when to have your next checkup. And in terms of uh, uh, affordability, 170 will be affordable. Mm, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's cheaper than Unga, as yeah, we are exactly. speaking. Yeah. Sandra, I won't wait before I ask my question. At Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is one in the morning. We are asking you a very simple question, although it may trigger you small, but please do answer as honest as you can, and then we will get to you in a little bit. Uh -huh. so, 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 so. <laughs> my thoughts have been disarranged. For, for, <laughs> all right, first of all, from the ground, they're asking um, how to. Ah, Mr. Mabea Skari, now producer, look, I'm talking to you and they cannot see you. I'm introducing someone you cannot see to the scene. I'm so sorry. Uh, wow, all right. And Oliza Bea Skari, how much? How much? Oh, oh, the black black scary. You, you are yeah. for honey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 honey babes. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Um, how 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 easy is it to? I want to see without going for a checkup. How easy is it for me to know that something is wrong with my body? If let's say I'm very sensitive like that. And we self-diagnose a lot. Google, first of all, there's once I had nili 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 maskio tuki dogo more than I should have nako kakito nili jua bass. I've ruptured something in my ear. Google, <gasps> when you rupture your eardrum, you do one thing. Eh, so I'm quite sure a lot of us self-diagnose a lot. So how is how easy is it? I'm at kujetu tu 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 angaliwe tu hizo your self diagnosis mm. unajua your self diagnosis mtu ajuangi like kama nikukwambia the many times maybe umeumwa na kichwa mm. inaweza kuwa high chances ulikuwa na bp hiyo time mm -hmm. au taniamini mm. utasema ni normal ama ni njaa eh ama ni njaa ama tu ah, jana ni kama school la vizuri acha tu nikunye maji kama mara moja kapana dole nitakuwa sawa ama acha nilale kidogo nitakuwa sawa mm. but you see now inaweza kuwa that is not the problem mm is acquired in something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a PI story, a weight, na height, be a my ako kamiko sawa, where's the draw? When I'm a new Niko sawa, na possibly uko underweight, I'm overweight, I'm only like a obese. No, no. <laughs> I saw this documentary on, was it the BBC? On how it's, oh, how it, I thought it was very ridiculous actually because Africa is known, our continent is known for either malnutrition or, or lack of, lack of, lack of. But now they're introducing something called obesity into the picture that we're, we're almost there into the bracket of concern for obesity. First of all, what is obesity? Nasiku nona tu. Musema ni head speech jonikona tire more than one. Eh, what is obesity exactly? I think niyo kunona too, yeah, when you have fats instead of muscles, mm -hmm. yes. Unajua mtu kipata na kijana hapo inje, anajona meunga. But truth be told, hapo hakuna muscles, hakuna misuli hapo, ni mafuta, <laughs> imeja hapo. So like, distinguishing between the muscles na fat, hapo mm -hmm. ndiyo kidogo hivi. Naza pata na mtu wanaona niko tu sawa mm -hmm. lakini mwambia kimbie tu kidogo ana hema mm -hmm. like no one's business and, and also on <laughs> 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 
Also, a common misconception is just because when you mdogo ka me me to say me, because I'm tiny, honestly, if you see me in, in, in person, that instantly that means I'm fit. But I'm mimi ukiniambia, maybe perhaps nikimbia from here to there, I will have a very big problem. So kuna misconceptions all over the place. So tuangaliwe tu. Yes. And actually, just to add, sorry for cutting you short. Um, we have BMI, body mass index. And this is what we use to determine if you are underweight, overweight, or obese. Mm. And it usually ranges between 18 to 25, past 25, 30, you are getting overweight. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why we need checkups mm. is because you can't tell with the uh, eye, if Sandra Mesema. Mm. Like you can't just say this person is fit or not fit. Someone might be lean, but uh, they are lean on muscles. And someone might be big, but they're big on fats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the reason why it's important we create awareness because for us, we don't just take your BMI for what it is. Mm -hmm. And you don't just, when you do your checkup, we don't just measure your BMI alone. We have to uh, take in, uh, factor in the blood sugar, mm -hmm. blood pressure, and also we measure your, your waist, mm -hmm. uh, your, your uh, those kind of things so that we, we can also tell the, the amount of fat, fat percentage. Mm -hmm. Is it more than 11% or less than 11%? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's when we call it a full checkup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can't just be my weight pile one, ah, learn because 60, next time you go 65. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think most people will, will argue with that. that. It's not, that won't tell you the whole story. You also need to know the percentage of fat in your body. And uh, you also have to put them together with the blood sugar and blood pressure so that you, you have the general checkup. That's when you'll, you'll have the, the true sense of what's going on in your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without that, you're, you're gazing. And you might be guessing very wrongly. Come as do it wrongly in word, but you might be doing it uh, very off. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've talked about lifestyle. We've talked about mental health and how it, you know, kind of marries into health. How does tech affect our health checkups or just health in general? Uh, that's a good question. We are in an era where tech has given us so much that we can take advantage of mm -hmm. uh, to better our lives. As much as it's, uh, it has some negative effects, but it, we can actually use it to our advantage. Let's take, for example, we have ChatGPT, mm -hmm. which uh, is, has been developed using OpenAI. Uh, it, it actually passed at a test where most medics would fail, mm -hmm. uh, and it's being trained. You talk about you when you're sick, you go online, unatafuta, kicha kikuuma na maybe tumbe kuume. But apart as signs of cancer, and now you start <laughs> pan panicking, and, <laughs> and you start panicking. Those were some of the uh, shortcomings of tech before. But now with machine learning, uh, machines can learn as uh, like just like human beings, and they can do things better. And uh, mentioning that here in Africa, probably we are slow in adapting tech. Mm -hmm. Somehow, we have very many different fields in tech like cybersecurity, UI, UX. Not all companies have embraced these things and we can take advantage of them. So let's say, for example, the platform that we are developing. Uh, most people, uh, they don't have smartphones, mm -hmm. but they have phone numbers. That's the beauty of it all. So we, we just make sure that someone registers on the platform and uh, they'll be reminded via SMS because mm -hmm. no one will check email in Africa. Do you check your emails? Oh, you do actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it means your job is, uh, it requires uh, you to check, but most people actually they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, d we decided we can leverage on SMS or WhatsApp, mm -hmm. yeah, to, to be reminding people on when to do their next checkup. Because mm -hmm. even SMS nowadays, when there's a part of 149 messages, mm -hmm. but on WhatsApp, uh, yeah, <laughs> but on WhatsApp, you're always there. Mm -hmm. It's like adrenaline. So we try and leverage on that. We use WhatsApp to send you reminders mm -hmm. on when to do your next checkup. Mm -hmm. And uh, from our research, we also believe that, come on to WhatsApp, most probably you're keen on messages. Mm -hmm. 
So if you don't have WhatsApp, you, you get reminders mm -hmm. via, via SMS. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, we are also able to come up with the platforms where we can actually do a study on how your health is progressing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, I'll use a case of our platform. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go for a checkup, we actually record your vitals mm -hmm. every time. So we are able to study the trend. And uh, why is this trend important? We said uh, 25, you're overweight, 30, you're obese. Uh, maybe blood sugars, when it reaches 5.6 mole for something, then maybe there is a problem in Anza could develop. So we are able to know that you are nearing that threshold. Uh, you are nearly close, crossing that border to be either hypertensive or diabetic. So tech, with tech, we're able to study your health and notify you, Mapema, mm -hmm. that, hey, do you know what you need to control? Uh, you need to take control of this. Maybe probably check on your diet because of BMI. Mm -hmm. And actually, we can sign up nutritionists on the platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are able to, uh, let's say, give uh, their services online. Mm -hmm. So it's easier than uh, ever before. It's accessible. Internet is accessible you can consult online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, those are some of the ways we can leverage in tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Literally at, at the touch of a button, you're going to save my life. life. Yeah, exactly. Just by having that data on the system mm -hmm. and us studying it, we are able to know that you're headed in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say your BMI today is uh, 22. After two months, it's 23. And then the next uh, two months, it's 24. You haven't gotten to 25, but something is wrong mm -hmm. somewhere. It's growing at a very fast, high rate. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need to do something about it. So tech can actually do that because mm -hmm. we have to. So yeah. it's opposite to like if I'm coming to be underweight while I was OK, mm -hmm. that's, there's also something wrong. Yeah. You let me know. There might be something. You might be working out and you're getting fitter, so oh. we can't assume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can't assume. <laughs> but then uh, it's. With tech, we are able to know. It's just to alert you, mm -hmm. to make you be on the know how that okay something might be wrong mm -hmm. or not. Now it's up to the experts to experts to take over from mm -hmm. that analysis that the system has done or the computer has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Sandra. I think as we're winding this up, I'll, I'll ask you a question. I think is important to females out there. Hi. Good morning. I hope Sasha will am too with my next question. It's just being very concerned for our livelihood and well-being. Tunaweza tumia pesa ya kubai wig, tunaweza tumia pesa ya skin care products, because I can, from what I see over here, your skin is flawless. Eh, tutumia sujui pesa ya kukaa vizuri, but atutake kutumia pesa ya kucheka up. Shide etu ni gani? Do your self-diagnosis. Una, una, una amini, eh, social media, now whatever same buyer same buyer mm. not bad at all not bad but you see <coughs> the problem is unapata ile priority msema weka kama umeka priority yako ni kwenda kukulanga kfc monday to monday to monday hakuna spinach hapo katikati hakuna kuna coleslaw ni choice at the end of the day ni choice at the end of the day so what I can say is priority. Mm -hmm. What comes first? Is it wig or a checkup? Tasa watu watona ni kitesa ni kikula KFC. Once in a while. Akuna mm -hmm. jo tese sa hi. No natural is it up? Akuna jo tese sa hi. Lafu ten years no nzanga na vile aliendanga. Kai. That hit close to home. Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Any last matters to Nakanya mm -hmm. with the water? Mm -hmm. Check up equal priority. Like health is wealth. Mm -hmm. Like first priority. Because I could have five different cleansers and face scrubs, yeah. but yeah. inside is not okay. Yeah. And if the inside is not okay, at outside, people are taona. People will still see. Mm -hmm. Yes, we talk about women, but make up on But I'm talking about like, who can say what? Who can say what? So yeah. I mean, it's having a very, very good time today. <laughs> very important mm -hmm. culture. How can we uh, advocate for health checkup culture? 
amongst our society. Yeah, it starts with us youth. Mm. You know, youth, we are trendy. Mm. We trend on TikTok, we trend on IG, mm. ev everywhere. So it's up to us youth to create awareness. Mm. Yeah, just, we want to change the culture that, you know what, this thing is cheap. Uh, it's affordable, not cheap, actually. It's affordable and it's accessible. Uh, but just uh, doing collaborations with clinics and chemists. On your way, you, how many clinics do you meet? Yeah, you come across many of them. So if we can actually get, have an agreement with them that, do you know what? Acting as an, as an agent uh, to be able to do checkups for people at 170 Bob. And then that will actually change the culture. And even for them, it's important mm -hmm. because you as an hospital, would you rather have like a 10K sure checkups mm -hmm. per month or you treat 10 people with diabetes? So if you do, let's say the maths, 10K times 170, that's 1.7 1, 1 million. Mm -hmm. This other one, gonna, let's say 50 people when you're gonna diabetes, they only give you 5,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we just need to shift our energy mm -hmm. to most, more positive things like hospitals, we do more checkups so that we, we kind of uh, lower the rate at which people are being uh, get affected by these things. Mm -hmm. And they'll still be able to earn, they'll still be able to, to do their jobs, only that they're focusing their energy on positive stuff, doing checkup, preventive measures than curing. So that's the mentality that we want to instill. You guys should have influencers on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, you should have influences yeah. on it. Okay. Any last words, Sandra, before I wrap this up? Um, we have a game in it. Afia Lopez League. It's a game very easy. Imagine to a ball to a lafuka no paluna rusha bottle in Yakwando. Visit our social media platforms afia one Utapata everything there. So come on, you clear and you would like to register. Ama kama wewe unataka kujua what is this Afya Lopez League. You never know. Nyota yako inaweza kuwa ndio hiyo. So it's just a small game that uh, we are trying to create awareness with because you see youth wanapenda, you know, games, mm. entertainment mm. and all these things, yeah. And they said Jack Without play, mix a dull boy. Oh, yeah, mix Jack a dull boy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in as much as we are campaigning for health, pia mchezo ni fitness. Eh, ukikuja ruke ruke, ukiske una umo una juan, you're not fit enough. Kwa dogo, kuka kwa nyumba ilikuwa very difficult thing like atunashwa tunakaa je kwa nyumba how doing what doing what? although dikiwa mdogo tv bado kalikuwa na kahaga hapo and in a, in a get warm when you touch it but now it's the complete opposite everyone will stay at home and use all their gadgets all at the same time mtu ana watch tv akiwa kwa simu but kwa tab bado but anyway for your last remarks amina wow i'm i'm so impressed with the reception that we've got as a few one one the, the youths that we've interacted with are actually embracing what we are doing and they are starting to see the importance and I'd like to urge uh, the other youths that didn't know what we do, they can visit uh, afia101.co.ke so that they get to learn about what we are doing and join the bandwagon. Mm. Not a bad one, but yeah, <laughs> join the bandwagon so that we can actually uh, make sure that our generation, we get to live to achieve our dreams. Yeah, we get to enjoy and uh, be part of this revolutionary era where we are, we are coming up with interesting things like uh, machine learning. Kila mtu ata kuenda mass. So on mass can attack to like a mass. Uh, you'll only get there if you do checkups and you're able to take care of yourself. Yeah, so join us and if you're on Afya one so that we can uh, push this good narrative. Yeah. Cannot add or take away from that, so all I'll do is tell you to keep it Y254 at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag of the day is Y in the morning. Brian Soko 101 is coming up next. You don't want to miss that.